In this video, we're going to do a little review of decimals and how important it is to understand decimals. I'm going to begin just with the basic vocabulary, and it's going to be very um, important for you to know the difference um, in each of the place values and to know this place values for decimals and also when we get to fractions. So let's begin with the decimal place. Okay, the decimal place always comes sort of in the middle here, okay, um, depending on um, sort of the place values. It's important for you to realize where this decimal place is and which numbers are um, where on the side of the decimal place. If I go to the left, the first number that I come to will be in the ones place. This is the only place where you'll see ones, okay, because it's individual different, just, um, Yeah, it's an individual um, number. The next place out is tens. The next place out is hundreds. And if you remember from earlier on, that's when we go thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, okay, um, millions, so on and so forth. Those numbers will be important for when we get to the decimal place values to the right because you'll notice the names are pretty much exactly the same. The difference with the decimal values is they add this THS onto the end of each um, place value. So if you have a THS at the end, it's going to be the right of the decimal place. Okay. Um, this here will be kind of the hundreds section where we have ones, ten, hundreds, and you'll notice then you go, you know, basically one thousandths, okay, the thousands place, um, kind of chronicle with the ones place. Then we'll do ten thousands, hundred thousands. So it always follows this sort of pattern of hundreds, tens, ones, hundreds, tens, ones. When we go to the right of the decimal place, we don't repeat the one because what the THS sort of stands for, it means sort of out of. Okay, so this one place value basically means out of 10. So what that means when I begin to look at decimals and fractions is when I have 0 0.3, that actually means it's 3 out of 10. It's not a whole. It's not a ones yet. It's not equal to 1. It's something less than 1, so it's out of 10. Now, I can't have a 1's place here because then it would be 3 out of 1, which is equal to 3. So it doesn't work, which is why I need to start with the tenths. When I go to hundredths, I'm talking about out of 100. So, for example, if I had 0 0.03, I would be talking about 3 out of 100. Next place is the thousandths. Okay, pay attention to the THS at the end. That means out of 1,000. Then out of 10,000, out of 100,000, out of a million, then follow, it would be start all over kind of with um, the next section. So basically, these sections kind of get grouped together, then these, and then you'll start seeing, you know, then 10 millionths, 100 millionths, um, then billionths. So basically, the same names that are on this side of the decimal place will also appear on this side with the exception of the ones place. So when I begin to talk about expanded form, you may remember if I gave you the number 351, I could think about that as being 300 plus then 50 plus 1. I'm going to have the same sort of thing happening with the decimal, where if I have something like 3.0 Let's go ahead, point three point one two five. I can say that's going to equal 3 plus point 0.1 plus point zero two plus point zero zero five. So this, in a sense, tells us what the place value is as well. I have three hundreds plus 50, so five tens plus one individual block. Down here I have three whole blocks, plus one-tenth of a block, plus two-hundredths of a block, plus five 
thousandths of a block. So this is what's known as expanded form. I'm taking this number and breaking it up based off of place value. Another important concept within the section is this whole idea of rounding. And this is where it's so important that you know place value, because this comes up all the time on standardized testing in particular, where it'll ask you for a particular value, but it'll tell you in the directions that you need to round it to a certain place. And this is where a lot of people will get problems wrong, because they may do the problem completely right, but will forget that one little part of the direction. So it's important that you read directions very carefully. So in rounding, if I gave you something like 3.14698 and I told you to round to the hundredth place, the first thing is to figure out which place I'm talking about. If I'm talking hundredths with a THS, I'm going to be talking to the right of the decimal place. So I kind of remember tenths, hundredths. So I'm going to be rounding to this place value, which means if I transfer down, it's going to be 3.1, and I need to figure out what number will go into this spot. How I do that is I always look, will look to the right one place and say, okay, this number is a 6. How does that affect the 4? If it's less than 5, I keep the 4. If it's greater than 5, I have to add 1 or round up the 4. So since this case I have 3.146, the 6 will make me round the 4 up 1 to make it 3.15. So basically, I'm always finding what place am I rounding to, looking to the right. If this number to the right is greater than 5, I have to add 1. If this number is um, less than 5, then I'm going to keep that value. So for example, um, let's say I had 3.14298 as opposed to what I have above, and it's rounded to the hundredths place. I'd underline that. I could look at this box. I would have to keep the four. So my answer would be 3.14 instead, rounded. Okay. Hopefully this has made sense to you. Hopefully it's a little bit of a review for you, and look forward to practicing tomorrow.